The third and most elegant solution would be to watch the combination between these two values. So recently I had a situation in view that involved watching multiple values and then acting based on their changes. Here we have a much simplified example. This is like a create product form that has a name field, a can be sold switch and a description. Now when the can be sold switch is turned on, three more inputs appear. One checkbox for available in online stores, another one for available in physical stores and the price field. The goal is if the user ticks one or both checkboxes and then decides to untick them, this can be sold switch should then be turned off. There are three ways we can achieve this using the view watch function. Let's go through them one by one. For the first one, we can add two watchers. One for is available online and another one for is available in stores. So we'll do watch and we'll have a function that will return form dot is available online and the second function that will receive that new value. And then here we can basically act on that change. Let's import the watch function. So whenever form is available online changes, this function will be executed. Inside this function we'll do if is not available online and it's also not available in stores. So if not form dot is available in stores, then we'll set form is sellable to false. If I refresh, turn this on, tick the available in online store checkbox and then untick it, the switch will be turned off. So we need to do the same for is available in stores. So we'll copy this, paste it in and replace this with is available in stores. And this will be is available online. I'll save, refresh, tick both checkboxes and then untick them and the switch is turned off. However, it turns out we can watch multiple values inside the same watcher. So let's comment these out and we'll have watch, a function, and then instead of returning a single value, we'll return an array of values. So we'll have form dot is available online and form dot is available in stores. Then the second function will also receive an array, but we can destructure it. So we'll do array and then is available online and is available in stores. And same as above, inside this function we can check if is not available online and it's not available in stores. Then we'll set form dot is sellable to false. Let's try it out. I refresh, turn this on, tick both checkboxes and then untick them and this is turned off. The third and most elegant solution would be to watch the combination between these two values. So we'll comment this out and we'll do watch form is available online or form is available in stores and that will give us the is sellable value. And then here we can basically say form dot is sellable equals is sellable. And that's it. If I refresh, turn this on, tick both checkboxes and then untick them, the switch is turned off, which is what we wanted. And that was it. This is how you can watch multiple values in view and if possible, even combine them to act on their changes. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff.